Hi, it's Barbara and welcome back to Wiki Design. Today we are going to play another game of web design roulette. I did this a few months ago and it was a lot of fun, so I thought, why not do it again? If you're not familiar with it, here are the rules of the game. I've written down a bunch of different design styles, a bunch of different small business types, and a bunch of different elements or widgets. In round one, I will choose the style. In round two, I will select the type of business. And in round three, I will pick three Elementor widgets that I have to use in my final website design. So let's get started and play the game. Luxury, okay. That's our style. Let's move on to round two, where we choose the business type. Thank you. Photographer. Okay, so we have a luxury photographer. I don't think that will be too hard, but let's see what widgets we have to put in this. And three, let's see what we have. An icon list, an accordion, and a testimonial. Okay, I don't think this is going to be too hard, but I've said that before and usually I eat those words, so we'll see. Okay, so let's talk about the results that I got. A luxury photography brand. Immediately when I got those results, I started to think of luxury high-end designers like Chanel and Louis Vuitton and Gucci. So I think I can get some inspiration from sites like that because they always have really high-end looking photography and they just look luxury and classy. Since this website is for a photographer, we want to make the images the main focus. So I really want to use a lot of imagery throughout the page design and really make it the star of the show. Now, normally if I'm working on a design project, I've already met the person behind the brand. But in this case, since we've made up this project, I have to create that person from scratch. The person behind this luxury photography brand will name Ben Cooper. He is a very experienced photographer who specializes in commercial and lifestyle photography. Ben is looking for a website that looks a bit more high-end so he can attract high-end, high-paying clients. In addition to creating the persona, I've added some of my ideas to a Millinote board, which you can see here. Overall, I think these images really give off the vibe that we're going for, a really high-end luxury feel. Testimonials are pretty common on any small business website, but especially with photographers. So I definitely think that will be easy to incorporate somewhere on the page. The accordion and the icon list might be a little bit more difficult, but I have some ideas for those. I think for the accordion, maybe I could do some frequently asked questions using that. And for the icon list, I might not actually use an icon, but maybe just use the list part and take the icon away to just list some basic services or stuff like that. Not exactly sure how I'm going to use that just yet, but I have a few ideas floating around. Okay, let's get started on creating this website. I've opened up a blank page in Elementor, and the first thing I'm going to do is make the background color black by clicking on settings and going to the style tab. Then, I'll add a two column section. In the left column, I'll add a heading, and in the right column, I'll add a hamburger style navigation menu. Underneath, I'm going to add another two column section. For this section, I want the columns to span the full width and have no column gap. I really liked how the Chanel website had two images side by side in the hero area. So that's what I'm going to do here. 
I'm going to use a spacer widget, then add the images as background images to ensure they go the full width of the page no matter what screen size the user has. After making a few adjustments to this section, I'll use a negative margin to move it up so it lies behind the header section. In order for this to work correctly, make sure you adjust the z-index of the header section underneath the advanced tab. I'm adding a background overlay to the left column to darken the top of the image a bit. This will make it easier to read the name Ben Cooper. Next, I'll add another two column section below the images. This is where I'll create an about section. I'll place an image on the left and some text on the right. Underneath the image, I'm going to add an icon list. I thought a good way to use this would be to add a few big name clients that Ben has worked with. Next, I'll add a gallery widget to showcase Ben's portfolio. Underneath that, I'll add a testimonial widget. Next, I'll add a two column section underneath. Here, I'm going to place a contact form on the left and an FAQ section on the right. I've added a phone number field to the contact form and styled it so it fits with the look of the rest of the page. For the FAQ section, I'll use my last required widget for this game, the accordion widget. Again, I'm styling this section to fit in with the overall look of the page. Finally, I'll add a simple two-column footer, placing a copyright statement on the left and a link to the privacy policy on the right. For the privacy policy link, I used another icon widget, so I'm giving myself extra credit for using that twice. Now that my layout is done, 
I need to make adjustments for tablet and mobile versions. Since this is a one-page website design, I'm adding IDs to the different sections so that we can link them correctly in our menu. To do this, you'll want to click on your section, go to the Advanced tab, then type the name of your section where it says CSS ID. I'll make some final styling adjustments to the menu, then click each link to make sure it goes to the correct section. I'll check one more time to see how things look on tablet and mobile, then hit publish. So that wraps up today's web design roulette game. I had a lot of fun with this and I'm pretty happy with the final result. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the first game that I played of web design roulette where I did a coastal themed website for a business coach. That one was a lot of fun too. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out our merch shop, which I'll link down below. And we have a Reddit board now where we're posting all of our tutorials. I will also link that in the description. Thank you so much again for watching and we'll see you next time.